Introduction to the Son in Law of the Eternal Emperor. Normal Version. At the age of eleven, the young man Yi Xian's soul pierced through the ages and returned to the distant mythological era, becoming an immortal monster that emerged from the burial ground of the emperor and influenced one era after another. But behind Yi Xian, there was a pair of invisible hands controlling everything. In order to hold his fate in his own hands, Yi Xian did everything he could. However, at the moment when he was about to succeed, he was betrayed by his disciple and wife, causing his soul to sleep for ninety thousand years. When Yi Xian woke up, he found that he had returned to his physical body and had become the son. In law of the Emperor Extreme Immortal Sect. He was even treated as a fool, and the story began from here. The soul of the Eternal Emperor returns overnight. Since then, a generation of imperial sun. In. Law has risen, opening up the invincible myth that has been pushed forward for eternity. Concise version. Foolish sun. In. Law, soul returning, rising in one day, invincible forever. I am invincible, you can do whatever you want. Yi Xian. Play meme version. That year, I had my hands in my pockets and didn't know what my opponent was. Chapter 1 The Soul of the Eternal Emperor, Returning One Night You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Huangji Immortal Sect, Huangji Peak A magnificent hall stands on the mountaintop, displaying a grand demeanor. But behind the main hall, there is an inconspicuous small house that is out of place with the surrounding environment. But the people living inside were the famous figures of the entire Litian Kingdom, the uncle of the Huangji immortal sect. Yi Xian At this moment, inside the house, the young man Yi Xian sat motionless on the bed, his eyes lifeless, as if he had lost his soul, murmuring to himself, unsure of what he was saying. Bang, at this moment, the door was violently kicked open, and Zhou Bingyi walked into the room. She looked at the wooden young man Yi Xian sitting on the bed and said with some disgust, Mother said, there is a distinguished guest at the door today, and you are not allowed to go anywhere. Just stay inside the room. Did you hear me? Yi Xian still sat there motionless, and after a while, he whispered softly, after going through eternity and sleeping for ninety thousand years, I have finally come back. Changshi, Muyun, my good wife, my good disciple, none of you can escape. What are you talking about? Zhou Bingyi's disgust grew stronger in her eyes. Yi Xian regained his senses and suddenly looked up at Zhou Bingyi with a cold and indifferent expression. Zhou Bingyi was startled and said angrily, What are you looking at? Did you hear what I just told you? You're not allowed to go anywhere today. It's really unlucky to have your brother dot in dot law on the street. I don't know what my sister is really thinking. So many arrogant people don't like you and insist on getting married to you, such a coward. If you can't practice, then I won't say anything. You're still a fool. As she spoke, Zhou Bingyi became increasingly angry and gritted her teeth as she looked at Yi Xian, why don't you say you're not going to die? You must rely on my sister. A son dot in dot law, a coward, a fool. Yi Xian's eyes flickered, and memories of the past emerged from his mind. He was originally a young master of the Knight family in Wanan City, Yungua. However, at the age of eleven, he was taken away by a terrifying existence. The Lord of the Burial Emperor. And brought to the mythological era of ancient times, where he was refined into the flesh of an immortal monster. From then on, he traveled all over the world and walked to the most dangerous places. After enduring billions of tribulations and tribulations, he finally broke free from the master of burying emperors and became the ruler of heaven and earth. And the body that loses its soul becomes a fool. Last year, he was taken by Zhou Yuwei, the eldest princess of the Huangji immortal sect, who is now his wife, to marry and become the doorstep uncle of the Huangji immortal sect. Having been with Emperor Jixian for a year, he did not receive the treatment that an uncle should have, but instead was bullied everywhere. His status in the Huangji immortal sect is probably inferior to even a dog. If it weren't for the protection of his own daughter. In. Law, Zhou Yuwei, 
he would have died no less than ten thousand times. Zhou Bingyi saw that Yi Xian seemed unmoved, so she prepared to curse again, but soon she laughed at herself and said, Forget it, what's wrong with me and a fool? As she spoke, Zhou Bingyi turned around and left. When she closed the door, she deliberately increased her strength and made a loud bang, as if she was about to collapse the house. Yi Xian withdrew his mind and gazed at the door, his eyes flickering and his expression indifferent. He slowly murmured, are you stupid? I won't call you that anymore. The soul returns to its original form, possessing an unimaginable heritage that ordinary people cannot imagine. Sitting cross-legged on the bed, Yi Xian tried to use his soul power. At the moment when he sensed his soul power, Yi Xian breathed a sigh of relief and said, sleeping for ninety thousand years, although his soul power has declined significantly, there is still half of it. Oh, my physique. Yi Xian was slightly surprised in his heart, realizing that something was wrong with his physique. Is it the kind of physique that the Lord of the Burial Emperor has been looking for? At this moment, Yi Xian was startled and uncertain. After he was taken away by the Lord of Burial, the Lord of Burial instructed him to search for an extremely mysterious physique. Now, Yi Xian has crossed the ages, returned to his true form, and discovered the unusual aspects of his body. If it's really that kind of physique, then this time, I will definitely step on the Lord of Burial to avenge the past. Rao, with Yi Xian's temperament, couldn't help feeling a little excited at the moment. Go find a condensing qi pill to try. And just as Yi Xian was using his soul power to explore his body, Huan Ji Peak welcomed an extraordinary young man. The young man has handsome facial features, dressed in luxurious attire, and his every move showcases his family demeanor. The only drawback is probably the uncomfortable sense of contempt on his body. The person who came to welcome him was a generous and graceful woman who looked only in her early thirties. This person is Yi Xian's mother. In law, Jiang Jing, the wife of the head of the Huangji Immortal Sect and also the elder of the Huangji Immortal Sect. Auntie, the young man bowed and saluted Jiang Jing. Yulong is here, hurry up and take a seat in the hall. Jiang Jing smiled in her eyes and seemed particularly satisfied with the young man, welcoming him into the hall with a smile. Auntie, you're welcome. My nephew is here to see you away. Zhao Yulong bowed to Jiang Jing before stepping into the main hall. Yulong, you're not here at the right time. Yu Wei is closing down and attacking the prince, Jiang Jing said with a smile. Zhao Yulong couldn't help but be surprised. Yu Wei is truly the first goddess of the Lai Tian kingdom. She has just turned 18, but she has already begun to challenge the princes. Yulong, you're joking. Yu Wei's aptitude is much worse than yours. You must have already entered the ranks of a marquis this time, Jiang Jing said with a smile in her eyes. Zhao Yulong sighed and said, It was a regret in my life to find out that Yu Wei had already married someone when I went out of seclusion to challenge the prince. With this statement, Jiang Jing's eyes couldn't help but show a hint of complexity. Zhao Yulong, one of Zhou Yu Wei's pursuers, was the holy son of the Luo Tian Holy Land. His father was the leader of the Luo Tian Holy Land and his mother was the elder in power of the Luo Tian Holy Land. You should know that in terms of overall strength, Luo Tian Holy Land is much stronger than Huangji Immortal Sect, governing one side of Shangwa. Zhao Yulong and Zhou Yuwei are a perfect match, and they were often talked about at that time. The power of both sides almost reached the stage of marriage. Back then, Jiang Jing was also very optimistic about Zhao Yulong and her daughter Zhou Yuwei. Unfortunately, later on, Zhou Yuwei insisted on marrying Yi Xian, causing the Emperor Extreme Immortal Sect and Luo Tian Holy Land to almost tear apart their faces. It was precisely because of this that the Emperor Extreme Immortal Sect was targeted by Luo Tian Holy Land. Every time Jiang Jing thinks of this, she becomes frustrated. Zhao Yulong saw the change in Jiang Jing's expression and sneered to himself, calmly saying, I haven't seen Yue's husband yet. Since Yue is currently in seclusion, 
why don't you let Yue Wei's husband come out and meet him? This statement immediately made Jiang Jing even more irritable. Let Yi Xian come out to see you. Isn't that embarrassing for her? So Jiang Jing said sternly, unfortunately, he's also in seclusion. Oh. Zhao Yulong showed a surprised expression and said, I heard that Yue Wei's husband is a born fool who doesn't know how to cultivate. He is also in seclusion. These words left Jiang Jing unsure how to pick them up. Mother, I have already told that idiot Yi Xian. At this moment, Zhou Bingyi walked in. The scene suddenly became awkward, and Jiang Jing didn't know what to say for a moment. Zhao Yulong Zhou Bingyi also saw Zhao Yulong and immediately frowned at Jiang Jing, saying, Mom, is that the distinguished guest you're talking about? For Zhao Yulong, Zhou Bingyi naturally had a strong aversion, even more dislike than Yi Xian, so Zhou Bingyi didn't have a good expression. Sister Bingyi, you're talking about Yi Xian, is that your foolish brother? In that law, Zhao Yulong intervened and said. Zhou Bingyi snorted coldly and said, I never admit that he is my brother. In that law, find the Shuyuan website www.zhaoshuyuan.com. At this moment, footsteps suddenly sounded outside the hall. The three of them were all slightly stunned, looking out of the hall. Immediately after, a young man in a black robe walked calmly into the main hall, his gaze fixed on Zhou Bingyi, and he spoke up, Do you have the condensing qi pill? Lend me a try. The person who came was Yi Xian. He had already investigated and found out that his physical condition was likely to be that kind of constitution. He needed a condensing qi pill to verify it, but he didn't have it himself, so he came to find Zhou Bingyi. Who is he? Zhao Yulong frowned and stared closely at Yi Xian. Yi Xian. Zhou Bingyi opened her mouth wide and looked at Yi Xian incredulously, dumbfounded. You, you can speak in full. Jiang Jing also looked at Yi Xian in shock. They all knew about Yi Xian's foolishness, and she had specifically investigated it. After Yi Xian was eleven years old and foolish, she never said a complete sentence again. After five years, Yi Xian actually spoke up and spoke so completely. Is this Yue Wei's husband Yi Xian? Zhao Yulong frowned and showed a cold smile, then stood up leisurely and walked towards Yi Xian. Didn't you ask him not to go out today? Jiang Jing was very dissatisfied with Zhou Bingyi's message. I told Uncle Lu about it. Zhou Bingyi was also puzzled at the moment. After telling Yi Xian, she specifically asked Uncle Lu to guard Yi Xian. At this moment, Zhao Yulong had already arrived in front of Yi Xian. With a tall figure, Zhao Yulong was one head taller than Yi Xian and almost looked down at him, saying contemptuously, a useless person with no cultivation. How did you weigh like this kind of goods? P.S. WeChat Official Account Lao Gui Talks About Jiang Hu Chapter 2 Distinct Wang Ho, Disguising You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Zhao Yulong almost looked down at Yi Xian and said slowly, I came here to see how Yu Wei is doing, and to see what kind of person Yu Wei's husband really is. Although I didn't see Yu Wei, to be honest, after seeing you, I was very disappointed. With such a coward like you, what can I give Yu Wei happiness? You can only let Yu Wei be poked in the spine. Zhao Yulong looked coldly at Yi Xian and said in a slow voice, You just said you want the condensing qi pill, right? These are ten condensing qi pills. Take them and get out of the Huangji immortal sect. Don't appear again. Speaking, Zhao Yulong took out a white and pure jade bottle, with a hint of contempt on his face, and casually threw it at Yi Xian. Shu. The white and pure jade bottle flew by, seemingly ordinary, but in fact, it concealed strength. This is to embarrass Yi Xian. With a loud bang, Yi Xian steadily took the white jade bottle and looked up at Zhao Yulong, calmly saying, What do you have to do with me and my wife? A hint of surprise appeared in Zhao Yulong's eyes, fleeting in an instant. He then snorted coldly, I was childhood sweethearts with Yu Wei. 
If it weren't for my seclusion and invasion of the royal realm back then, would you think you could stand here and talk to me? Zhao Yulong turned around and first bowed to Jiang Jing, feeling heartbroken as he said, Auntie, my nephew is really disappointed with Yu Wei's husband. Yu Wei is the first goddess of the Lai Heavenly Kingdom and the eldest princess of the Huangji Immortal Sect. How can her husband be a useless person who cannot cultivate? This is ruining Yu Wei. My nephew earnestly requests my aunt to sweep Yi Xian out of the house and return Yu Wei's innocence. Zhao Yulong said word by word. He he. Yi Xian suddenly smiled. How are he and Zhou Yu Wei? It's their own business. What qualifications does an outsider like Zhao Yulong have to make a decision? Yi Xian, who made you stand out? Hurry up and get back to your doghouse. However, before Yi Xian could refute, his mother. In. La Jiang Jing's face suddenly turned cold and she challenged him. She had already told Bingyi that the fool was not allowed to go out to avoid embarrassment, but the fool ran out on his own. Isn't this a joke? But at the same time, she was also somewhat unhappy with Zhao Yulong. Anyway, it was all her family business. Although she was very fond of Zhao Yulong, the golden turtle son. In. La, Zhao Yulong's actions were actually taking over the throne. What a shame! Isn't it you who made a fool of yourself? Yi Xian glanced at Jiang Jing calmly. For a year since joining the Emperor Extreme Immortal Sect, his mother. In. La Jiang Jing has not given him much face. Now, even better, she directly scolds him as a dog in front of outsiders. If it were for the former Yi Xian, he might have foolishly returned to his own room upon hearing Jiang Jing's words, but now Yi Xian, the emperor's soul awakens, is no longer the same fool as before. But rather the immortal night emperor who dominates for eternity. Do you dare to talk back? Jiang Jing said coldly. Just a coward who dares to speak up to his aunt. Let me teach you a lesson for your aunt, you ignorant useless person. Zhao Yulong laughed, his eyes narrowed into a slit, with a hint of sarcasm. Bang, a majestic pressure erupted from Zhao Yulong, like a towering mountain and sea, pressing against Yi Xian. That is the true power of kings and nobles. Zhou Bingyi on the side couldn't help but turn pale. Although she doesn't like Zhao Yulong very much, it has to be said that this person is definitely a true genius in terms of cultivation talent. Now, only in his early twenties, he has already entered the realm of a prince. Such talents are extraordinary in the entire southern region. On the other hand, Yi Xian, who is over sixteen years old but has no cultivation, is a pure mortal. How can an ordinary person resist the presence of a royal realm? Subconsciously, a hint of concern arose in Zhou Bingyi's heart. Yulong. Jiang Jing's face changed slightly. She had never expected Zhao Yulong to be so bold and take action in front of Yi Xian. However, soon after, Jiang Jing closed her mouth again and did not stop her. She had long wanted to teach Yi Xian a lesson, but because of her daughter Zhou Yuwei, she had not taken any action. And now, if Xian dares to confront her this night, it's good to let Zhao Yulong teach her a lesson. However, in the next moment, Jiang Jing and Zhou Bingyi's mother and daughter were stunned by the scene before them. Rumble, with a loud bang, Zhao Yulong's body suddenly flew backwards, slamming fiercely onto the wall of the palace, spewing out a mouthful of blood, and he collapsed to the ground with a dejected expression. To a few people, Yi Xian, who seemed nothing but a mortal, remained unscathed and instead looked calmly at Zhao Yulong as he flew backwards. Impossible. Jiang Jing and Zhou Bingyi both blurted out, looking at Yi Xian incredulously. Zhao Yulong had a fierce expression on his face, staring at Yi Xian, his heart shaking uncontrollably. At that moment, he felt the threat of death. What kind of gaze is that? With just one glance, he suffered a heavy blow. The rumored fool is useless, why is he so strong? For a moment, Zhao Yulong's eyes became frightened and uneasy. Yi Xian walked towards Zhao Yulong with a calm gaze, looking down at Zhao Yulong lying on the ground. 
he said calmly, even a mere prince, how dare you be so arrogant and domineering. Wait a minute. At this moment, Jiang Jing suddenly stood between Yi Xian and Zhao Yulong. Yi Xian frowned slightly and looked at his mother. In law Jiang Jing. Yi Xian, you must not harm anyone in the hall, Jiang Jing scolded. Oh. Yi Xian said with a smile on his face, why didn't you see your mother? In law have such quick skills just now. Yulong never hurt you, why did you hurt him? Jiang Jing naturally heard Yi Xian's mockery and said coldly. Your mother. In law means that I have to stand and let Zhao Yulong get injured before I can fight back, right? Yi Xian asked in reverse. Everyone present knew that he was just an ordinary person with no cultivation, but Zhao Yulong still released the power of a prince, clearly holding the intention of killing. When Zhao Yulong used the power of a prince, Jiang Jing did not stop him, and his heart could be punished. Now Yi Xian has injured Zhao Yulong, but Jiang Jing has directly stopped Yi Xian. This approach really made Yi Xian feel a bit nauseous. If it weren't for his soul returning to its original form and possessing unparalleled soul power, I'm afraid it wouldn't be Zhao Yulong who fell, but him. Is Xian usually so arrogant in Huangji immortal sect this night? Zhao Yulong had already calmed down at this moment, and he stood up somewhat embarrassed, his eyes fierce. Zhao Yulong's words immediately made Jiang Jing's heart even more frustrated. Jiang Jing looked at Yi Xian with a colder expression and said, If you still have my mother. In. Law in your eyes, then get out of here. Yi Xian was not afraid and looked at Jiang Jing calmly, saying, Then I really didn't take you seriously. Jiang Jing's expression stiffened. She didn't expect Yi Xian to be so tough today. Just as Jiang Jing was about to make a fuss, an old man suddenly hurriedly walked in from outside the hall and said anxiously, Madam, things are not going well. What's wrong, Uncle Lu? Zhou Bingyi beside her quickly asked. What's up? Jiang Jing's face calmed down and she shifted her gaze to the old man, asking softly. The old man said with a solemn expression, I just received news that the princess has had an accident in seclusion and is currently in the Xianbing cave. What? Several people in the hall were all surprised. What happened to Yue? Yi Xian raised his eyebrows slightly. Zhaozhuyuan.com, madam, please go and take a look, the old man said in a low voice. Yue, you can't have any trouble. Jiang Jing was extremely anxious. She had already forgotten what had just happened and quickly set off for the Xianbing cave. Take me with you, Yi Xian said at this moment. However, Jiang Jing and Zhou Bingyi had already set off, and Zhao Yulong fell one step behind. He looked coldly at Yi Xian and said, What are you doing with this cowardly loser who only knows how to talk back? Yu Wei is my wife, Yi Xian said calmly. Although he has no relationship with this cheap daughter. In. Law, it does not prevent him from being Zhou Yue's husband now. You. Zhao Yulong suddenly suffocated and his eyes turned cold. All right, then let's take you with us and let Yu Wei see your true face. At this moment, Lu Chengda, who was called Uncle Lu by Zhou Bingyi, gave Yi Xian a faint glance and immediately signaled to Zhao Yulong, Zhao Gongzi, come with me. Okay. Zhao Yulong didn't hesitate and took the lead. When Yi Xian followed, Lu Qingde stopped him and calmly said, When did you leave the room? Guess what? Yi Xian smiled calmly, and a strange rune flashed through his eyes. Lu Qingde's body suddenly stiffened, and a strange rune appeared in his eyes. Then, Lu Qingde respectfully stepped aside and gave way to Yi Xian, whispering, Master, please. As he walked out of the main hall, Yi Xian's face turned a bit pale. He silently followed Zhao Yulong, stepped onto a flying boat, and began to ponder in secret. Although my body may be a Taoist body, I ultimately have no cultivation. I continuously use my soul power, which puts a considerable burden on my body. Let's go see what my cheap wife is like first. Chapter 3 Body and Soul Pharmacist bows down. You are listening at novelfull.audio. 
When Xian and Zhao Yulong arrived at Xianbing Cave that night, the sound of Zhou Bingyi's sobs came from the cave. Auntie, how is Yu Wei? Zhao Yulong stepped into the Xianbing Cave first and looked nervously at the stunning woman lying on the bed. Jiang Jing stood beside the bed with a solemn expression, shaking her head without saying a word. And Zhou Bingyi sat on the side, with tears on her face, occasionally looking at the woman on the bed. This immediately made Zhao Yulong's face darken. Beside the bed, there were elderly people in white robes with furrowed brows and a solemn expression on their faces. Miss Jiang, it's not optimistic. After a moment, the old man in the white robe looked at Jiang Jing with a worried expression and sighed, Yu Wei originally belonged to the body of Xian Bing. However, there was a strong yang power in her body, forming a fire poison and attacking each other with the power of Xian Bing. The combination of ice and fire would completely dissipate her cultivation even if she could save her life. What? As soon as these words were spoken, several people in the cave exclaimed in surprise, their faces changing greatly and feeling incredulous. Yi Xian walked closer and looked at Zhou Yu Wei on the bed. She raised her eyebrows slightly and quietly poked out her soul thoughts. At this moment, Jiang Jing's face turned extremely pale, and her heart was completely flustered. She knows better than anyone what it means to be completely devoid of cultivation. In this world where the strong are respected, without cultivation, it is equivalent to waste. Why is Yi Xian looked down upon by others? Not only because Yi Xian was a fool before, but also because he had no cultivation at all. But now, how can Jiang Jing accept that her daughter, the renowned goddess Zhou Yu Wei of the Heavenly Kingdom, is also going to become a useless person? Senior Brother Wu, you are the Six Cauldron Medicine Refiner. You must be able to maintain Yu Wei's cultivation, right? Jiang Jing looked at the old man and begged. The old man in the white robe looked embarrassed and sighed, Sister Jiang, as long as you can maintain your way's cultivation, I will do it even if I spare my life, but there is really no other way to do this. Zhao Yulong's face became increasingly ugly. Although he had feelings for Zhou Yu Wei, if Zhou Yu Wei's cultivation was completely ruined, it would be worthless, what kind of fire and poison. At this moment, Yi Xian spoke slowly and looked at him, it's ridiculous. It has to be said that my cheap wife indeed possesses a heavenly and human demeanor, with a stunning appearance, which should be a masterpiece. The only flaw is that on that stunning face, there is no blood, pale as paper, and it looks pitiful. He had just discovered his soul and had already discovered the main reason why Zhou Yu Wei became possessed by the demon in seclusion, not because of any fire or poison, but because. One body, two souls. Yi Xian's words immediately stunned everyone present. Zhao Yulong narrowed his eyes slightly and immediately snorted coldly, Yi Xian, are you saying that Senior Wu's diagnosis is incorrect? Zhou Bingyi also suddenly looked up, her eyes turned red, and tears were still lingering on her face. She looked at Yi Xian with hatred and said, Sister, you're like this. You're still talking nonsense here, why don't you die? Do you know that the reason why my sister has been in seclusion and breaking through the realm is because only by reaching the realm of a prince can we help you recover your mind. Now it's good, you've regained your senses, but my sister has fallen. As she spoke, Zhou Bingyi's tears kept flowing down, feeling unfair for her sister. Jiang Jing felt restless and looked at Yi Xian with some anger, saying calmly, Yi Xian, don't talk nonsense here. My own daughter is like this but Yi Xian is still shameless here. She really regrets not stopping Zhou Bingyi and Yi Xian from getting married. If she had stopped them, perhaps today's situation wouldn't have happened. Kid, you can eat randomly, but you can't speak recklessly, said the old man in white robes, looking at Yi Xian in a tone that was not kind. He is Wu Jingshan, a renowned Six Cauldron Medicine refiner, and also comes from the Donghuang Medicine Pavilion. There are few beings in the entire Lytian kingdom that can rival him. Even a mere young man would dare to speak wildly here. Yi Xian glanced at Wu Jingshan and said calmly, You guy who doesn't even understand one body and two souls, 
how did you become a six cauldron medicine refiner? Joke, what is one body, two spirits? Who said that becoming a six cauldron alchemist requires knowing these things? Zhao Yulong immediately satirized Yi Xian. Upon hearing Yi Xian's words, Wu Jingshan was noticeably stunned and said, One body, two souls, how could this kid know? Has he also seen that ancient book? Wu Jingshan had some doubts. He once saw a record of one body and two souls in an ancient book, but it only contained a few words without a detailed description. After looking at Yi Xian for a while, Wu Jingshan became even more suspicious of him. Is this kid trying to scare people? Yi Xian noticed the skeptical expression in Wu Jingshan's eyes and didn't explain anything. Instead, he said calmly, ignorance is enough. Even if you can't cure your own hidden illness, you still have the face to treat my wife. As soon as these words were spoken, everyone present suddenly turned pale. How good you are, Yi Xian. How dare you humiliate Senior Wu. Zhao Yulong was ecstatic at the moment, but on the surface, he showed exceptional anger. Even if his father, the Holy Lord of Luo Tian Holy Land, came to provoke Wu Jingshan, he dared not easily. It was surprising that Yi Xian was so ignorant that Zhao Yulong did not expect it. However, he could use this opportunity to provoke and kill Yi Xian. Jiang Jing trembled all over in anger at Yi Xian's nonsense, her face turned pale, and she said word by word, Yi Xian, get out of here. Unlike everyone's reaction, Wu Jingshan's pupils contracted sharply and he looked at Yi Xian incredulously, this person can actually see my internal injury Wu Jingshan's expression changed for a moment as he gazed at Yi Xian, his breathing becoming rapid. He tried to lower his posture as much as possible. He first bowed to Yi Xian, and then respectfully said, I used to be an old person. I was only inexperienced in my studies, and I don't know if you are the wise one. I apologize to you first and earnestly request that you take action first. I am willing to agree to all your conditions. His century-old mysterious illness had never been mentioned to anyone, but Yi Xian could see at a glance that Wu Jingshan knew he had met a master. Wu Jingshan's sudden apology immediately confused Jiang Jing, Zhao Yulong, and Zhou Bingyi. Master Wu, don't believe his lies. He's a famous fool named Yi Xian. Zhao Yulong quickly spoke out as a reminder. Shut up. Sir, you bastard can also insult me. Wu Jingshan suddenly drank, angry like an old dragon, his whole body was filled with a terrifying aura. This immediately startled Zhao Yulong, and he felt a moment of confusion. He was speaking for Wu Jingshan, why was he being scolded instead of Yi Xian? Feeling Wu Jingshan's murderous gaze, Zhao Yulong shrank his head and a hint of grievance appeared on his face. Jiang Jing frowned and said to Wu Jingshan, Senior Brother Wu, have you made a mistake? He is my son. In law Yi Xian, not a gentleman. She was afraid that Wu Jingshan wouldn't know who Yi Xian was, so she specially accentuated the word son. In law. Wu Jingshan ignored Jiang Jing and looked respectfully at Yi Xian with a pleading expression in his eyes. Sir, look. Yi Xian glanced at Wu Jingshan and said in a slow voice, Save Yu Wei first. As it should be, sir, take the initiative to save Yu Wei first. We'll talk about it later. Wu Jingshan smiled and took the initiative to move his position for Yi Xian as he spoke. Zhao Yulong's eyes flickered as he saw the situation, and he suddenly spoke up, Auntie, my nephew is really worried about entrusting Yu Wei to this person for treatment. You can give Yu Wei to your nephew, and your nephew will take Yu Wei back to the Luo Tian Holy Land. Please ask the top alchemist of Luo Tian Holy Land to take action, and we will definitely be able to cure Yu Wei. The strength of the Luo Tian Holy Land is stronger than that of the Huangji Immortal Sect. Among the Luo Tian Holy Land, there are indeed several top alchemists with a good reputation. Zhao Zhuyuan.com, mother, let Zhao Yulong take her sister to Luo Tian Holy Land for treatment. Zhou Bingyi also spoke up and advised, although she didn't like Zhao Yulong, she was even more worried about letting Yi Xian, an unreliable guy, treat her sister. 
This immediately made Jiang Jing hesitate. Just as Jiang Jing hesitated, Wu Jingshan snorted coldly, Our East Wilderness Medicine Pavilion has a long history and contains thousands of ancient books, but even the owner of our medicine pavilion cannot solve the mystery of unity and dual souls. Wu Jingshan looked at Zhao Yulong calmly and said in a slow voice, Although the alchemists of Luo Tian Holy Land are not bad, are you sure they can be stronger than the master of our medicine pavilion? As soon as these words were spoken, the faces of Jiang Jing, Zhao Yulong, or Zhou Bingyi all changed. East Wilderness Medicine Pavilion Master What kind of existence is this? That is definitely the top alchemist in Dong Huang. But Wu Jingshan's words say that even the owner of the East Wilderness Medicine Pavilion cannot solve the mystery of the one body, two spirits. Isn't it even more hopeless for the Luo Tian Holy Land? For a moment, everyone's gaze towards Yi Xian became completely different. Miss Jiang, I always thought you were a person with a general understanding. Why can't you open your eyes today? Wu Jingshan looked at Jiang Jing with a deep expression of disappointment in his eyes. Jiang Jing's face turned pale and she was immediately awakened. She looked at Yi Xian with a complex expression, thinking about all the things before, and it was difficult to speak for a moment. But now she knew that only Yi Xian could save Yue. She pleaded softly, Yi Xian, it was my fault in the past. I hope you can take care of Yue and take action to save her. It's my mother. In law begging you. If you have any conditions, feel free to mention them. Before Jiang Jing could finish speaking, Yi Xian impatiently interrupted her, shut up. He seems to be an extraordinary cheap wife. Chapter 4 Yi Xian's Attack, Yue Awakens You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Jiang Jing felt very uncomfortable in her heart. She never imagined that her daughter's life and cultivation would be able to attract the help of this foolish son. In. Law. Let's step back and not obstruct, sir. Wu Jingshan took the initiative to ask the others to step aside and respectfully said, I'll leave the rest to sir. Upon seeing this, Zhao Yulong unconsciously felt a strong jealousy in his heart. Even if his father, the Holy Lord of Luo Tian Holy Land, came here, he probably wouldn't let Wu Jingshan behave like this also, where on earth does this fool Yi Xian have the ability? Can he really cure Yu Wei? It's better to be cured, anyway, after being cured, he also has a way to make Emperor Ji Xian bow down. He must marry Yu Wei when he leaves the country this time. This is not only his intention, but also the meaning of the entire Luo Tian Holy Land. Wu Jingshan, Jiang Jing, and Zhou Bingyi looked at Zhou Yu Wei nervously, but no one knew what Zhao Yulong was thinking. Yi Xian scrutinized Zhou Yu Wei's angelic beauty, with a hint of gentleness floating in his eyes. He extended his right two fingers and gently tapped the center of Zhou Yu Wei's eyebrows, and a wisp of soul thought entered Zhou Yu Wei's body. Bombardment, at this moment, there seemed to be a shocking battle happening inside Zhou Yu Wei's body. The terrifying power of the scorching sun and the power of the mysterious ice were incompatible and unacceptable to each other. Zhou Yue is like a swaying leaf in the wind, drifting with the wind and ready to be torn apart by the strong wind at any time. If Wu Jingshan were to take action in this situation, it would not only fail to save her life, but also accelerate the death of Zhou Yue. But for this situation, Yi Xian is not surprised. In this world, all cultivators have physical bodies, but generally they are one body, with strengths and weaknesses. Some people are different from ordinary people, as they have one body, two bodies, or even one body, three bodies. Such existence often wastes one's life or covers eternity. His wife, Zhou Yue, is precisely one body, containing the body of the mysterious ice and the body of the scorching sun. Throughout history, Yi Xian has seen many strange talents with one body and two souls, as well as various symptoms of one body and two souls. Dealing with this kind of matter is just a matter of familiarity. Half a pillar of incense time has passed. In the eyes of Jiang Jing, Wu Jingshan, Zhao Yulong, and others, Yi Xian seemed like a sculpture, standing motionless, 
as if returning to his previous foolish days. If this works, I'll write the three characters Zhao Yulong upside down, Zhao Yulong sneered in his heart. From beginning to end, he did not believe that Yi Xian could save Zhou Yuwei. Now seeing Yi Xian's appearance, he became even more certain of his thoughts. Zhao Yulong couldn't help but look at Jiang Jing beside him. Seeing that Jiang Jing was extremely nervous at the moment, he whispered, Auntie, don't worry, even if Yue's cultivation is completely useless, I will still marry her. Upon hearing this, Jiang Jing forced out a hint of an unpleasant smile and said, Yulong, you have a heart. We will discuss this matter when Yue wakes up. At this point, Zhao Yulong didn't care about Yue's kindness and even thought about it. Wu Jingshan gave Zhao Yulong a displeased glance. Didn't he see that the gentleman was rescuing people and saying something there? If it weren't for fear of affecting the gentleman, Wu Jingshan wouldn't mind taking action to drive Zhao Yulong away. All right. At this moment, Yi Xian opened his eyes and withdrew his right hand, his face becoming increasingly pale. Continuously using soul power is really too laborious. Yi Xian got up and walked to the other side, sat on the spot, closed his eyes and focused, ready to take a break. All right. Jiang Jing and Zhou Bingyi were both delighted and ran to the bedside, wanting to know Zhou Youwei's situation as soon as possible. Zhao Yulong also followed closely behind and ran to the bedside. I want to see if this dog thing can really succeed. Zhao Yulong sneered to himself. And Wu Jingshan came to Yi Xian's side and respectfully said, Thank you, sir. Yi Xian nodded slightly and didn't say anything. Seeing this, although Wu Jingshan had many questions in his heart, he dared not say anything to avoid disturbing Yi Xian's rest. Unconsciously, Wu Jingshan cast his gaze onto the bed. I saw Zhou Yuwei lying in bed, her eyelashes trembling lightly, as if she wanted to open her eyes. This scene shook Wu Jingshan's heart and made him even more revered for the night Xian beside him. Sir, you are truly a divine being. It is so easy to solve the problem of one body and two souls. Yuwei. Jiang Jing was overjoyed and called out softly upon seeing this. Zhou Bingyi stared closely at Zhou Yuwei from the side, as if afraid that she might slip away. And Zhao Yulong, standing on the side, saw this scene with wide eyes and a look of terror in his eyes. That fool really cured Yuwei. Zhao Yulong turned his head to look at Yi Xian, who was meditating and regulating his breath on the side, and suddenly felt a sense of crisis in his heart. Before coming to Huangji Immortal Sect, he had absolute confidence and made Huangji Immortal Sect bow down and marry Zhou Yuwei to him. But now, he's a bit uncertain. This guy named Yi Xian is not as simple as he imagined. The sudden outburst in the main hall before, as well as the current resolution of Zhou Yuwei's dual soul, made Zhao Yulong feel the extraordinary of Yi Xian. Is he really the foolish and ignorant useless son dot in dot law rumored to be? Zhao Yulong fell into suspicion. On the bed, Zhou Yuwei slowly opened her eyes, her beautiful eyes bright and clear, but with a hint of confusion. Didn't I go crazy? Just now, it seemed like someone saved me. As Zhou Yuwei opened her eyes, the entire Xianbing cave seemed even brighter, and a spiritual energy suddenly emerged. Yuwei Jiang Jing saw Zhou Yuwei open her eyes and her eyes immediately turned red. It's okay, it's okay. Mother, sister. Zhou Yuwei saw the two people by the bed and looked for the book garden www.jiaoshuyuan.com, showing a slight smile. Sister, you finally woke up. Zhou Bingyi burst into tears and smiled, that guy from Yi Xian actually woke you up. Yi Xian. Zhou Yuwei had some doubts, but Yi Xian woke her up. Yuwei, you really make me worried. At this moment, Zhao Yulong leaned in and said excitedly, Fortunately, you're awake. Otherwise, how can I live alone? Zhao Yulong. Zhou Yuwei frowned slightly and her eyes were slightly cold. Why are you here? 
Zhao Yulong seemed unaware of Zhou Youwei's emotional changes, and he smiled and said, To be honest, I came today to propose marriage. Previously, I was cut off by the Knight Xian for attacking the prince. This time, I must marry you. Auntie, what do you think of this matter? After speaking, Zhao Yulong looked at Jiang Jing again. The crisis brought to him by Yi Xian is too great. He must quickly cut through the chaos, and if it's too late, things will change. This. Jiang Jing didn't expect Zhao Yulong to raise this question at this moment. She instinctively looked at Yi Xian, who was meditating and regulating her breath, and immediately said, Yulong, Yu Wei and Yi Xian have been married for a year. Auntie, do you think I am more compatible with Yu Wei or do you think Yi Xian and Yu Wei are more compatible? Zhao Yulong looked at Jiang Jing seriously. Jiang Jing suddenly didn't know how to answer. In her opinion, Zhao Yulong is more compatible with her own kindergarten. From both his background and personal perspective, Zhao Yulong is far above Yi Xian. Just because Yi Xian just saved Yu Wei, can she still say that Yi Xian is not? You're doing well, but my husband and I are also doing well. Please don't disturb us, Zhou Yuwei spoke softly, but with an undeniable aura. Chapter 5 Luo Tian Holy Land Tuji Wa Go You are listening at NovelFull.audio Zhao Yulong's face became increasingly ugly with Zhou Yuwei's words. Isn't Zhou Yuwei's words saying that he's not even as good as Xian at night? What my wife said is reasonable. At this moment, Yi Xian, who was meditating and regulating her breath, slowly opened her eyes and looked at Zhou Yuwei, with a smile on her lips. Yi Xian. Zhao Yulong's face was extremely ugly, with a murderous intent permeating his heart, but at the same time, there was a hint of palpitations. Yulong, Yuwei has just woken up. Let's wait until Youwei's condition stabilizes before we talk about these things. Jiang Jing tried to smooth things out, Bingyi, you can take Yulong to stay at the Tianyun Palace first. Anyway, Zhao Yulong is the holy son of the Luo Tian Holy Land. If he were to tear his face, it would not be good news for the Huangji immortal sect. Zhou Bingyi stood up and raised her eyebrows, saying, Let's go, Zhao Yulong. Zhao Yulong looked at Zhou Yuwei, his eyes full of unwillingness. However, at this moment, Zhou Yuwei turned her head to look at Yi Xian, with a hint of surprise in her bright eyes. She was startled by Yi Xian's sudden opening. In this scene, Zhao Yulong clenched his fists and gritted his teeth with a clattering sound, but in the end, he didn't get angry. Instead, he squeezed out an ugly smile and said, Yuwei, please rest first. I'll come see you tomorrow. As soon as Zhao Yulong finished speaking, Yi Xian's voice slowly came and lazily said, You don't need to come, my wife has me to take care of her. As soon as Zhao Yulong spoke, his face turned into a pig liver color, and his nails were deeply ingrained in his hands. He squinted at Yi Xian and said with a slightly gloomy tone, I hope you can continue to be so arrogant. After speaking, Zhao Yulong turned around and left directly. If he stayed in this place any longer, he would definitely be so angry that Yi Xian would vomit blood. With this mindset, it doesn't seem like a big deal at first glance, Yi Xian shook his head and said with a serious tone. That looks like a god. But Wu Jingshan beside him smiled and agreed, the overall strength of Luo Tian Holy Land is not bad, but choosing Zhao Yulong as the Holy Son, if there is no secret operation, I'm afraid no one will believe it. Zhao Yulong's body trembled slightly as he walked to the entrance of the cave, almost spitting out a mouthful of old blood. He fled from the Xianbing cave as if fleeing. Luo Tian Holy Land. It's just a dirt chicken, tile dog. Yi Xian smiled calmly, completely indifferent. He had never heard of the Holy Land of Luo Tian, and he thought it was just a small ground beetle living in a corner. On the contrary, it is the Huangji immortal sect, which has a considerable connection with him. Yi Xian's words made Wu Jingshan unable to help but sweat. Jiang Jing beside her also frowned incessantly. Although you saved Yu Wei, 
this is not a reason for you to casually belittle Luo Tian Holy Land. No matter how they say it, Luo Tian Holy Land is much stronger than Huangji Immortal Sect. Although she thought so in her heart, Jiang Jing didn't say it. After all, if it weren't for Yi Xian just now, her daughter Yu Wei might have really disappeared. Yu Wei, how are you feeling now? Jiang Jing shifted the topic. Zhou Yu Wei withdrew her gaze and after a careful investigation, her expression showed a hint of strangeness and surprise. It feels very good, unprecedented. Does it seem that the burning poison in her body has been completely eradicated? Unconsciously, Zhou Yu Wei looked at Wu Jingshan next to Yi Xian, bowed and whispered, Thank you, Master Wu, for saving me. Yu Wei has nothing to repay. As soon as these words were spoken, Wu Jingshan and Jiang Jing were suddenly taken aback, revealing a hint of embarrassment. Wu Jingshan hurriedly said, Yu Wei, you have ruined me. The person who just rescued you was not me, but your husband, Mr. Yi Xian. Speaking, Wu Jingshan once again bowed to Yi Xian. Yi Xian. Zhou Youwei's beautiful eyes lit up with a look of surprise, staring blankly at Yi Xian who was scrutinizing her. Just now Bingyi also said that Yi Xian saved her, and now Wu Shibua says the same. Is it really? She married Yi Xian for a year, and no one knows her background better than her. He comes from a remote small town in the southern region of Yunhua, and has been foolish and disoriented since the age of eleven, unable to cultivate. Although it seems that Xian has regained her senses tonight, it is impossible for Yi Xian to cure her illness. Yi Xian Bai glanced at Zhou Yu Wei and couldn't help but say, I'm sorry that my husband was kind enough to save you. You hurt my husband's heart too much. Yu Wei, it's really Yi Xian who saved you, Jiang Jing testified on the side. She didn't believe Yi Xian could succeed before, but it's an undeniable fact that Yi Xian has indeed succeeded. Jiang Jing patiently explained what had just happened to Zhou Yu Wei, especially when it came to one body, two spirits, and couldn't help but look strangely at Yi Xian. After listening, Zhou Yu Wei stared blankly at Yi Xian and suddenly felt like she had met her for the first time. She couldn't figure out how Yi Xian saved her, it was so unbelievable and unreal. However, both Wu Shibua and his mother indicated that it was Yi Xian who took action to save her, and they had no reason to deceive her. The fact is that Yi Xian saved her. Zhou Yu Wei had a strange expression in her beautiful eyes. Her red lips parted slightly and she said softly, Thank you, Yi Xian. Upon hearing this, Yi Xian smiled at the corners of her mouth and said with a gentle expression in her eyes, Between us, there is no need to express gratitude. In the year of Emperor Jixian sect, only Zhou Yu Wei treated him as a true relative, and every time he left the level, he would help Yi Xian recover his mind as soon as possible, although he failed every time but all of these exist deep in Yi Xian's memory. This woman really treats him sincerely. Between you and me, there's no need to say thank you. Zhou Yu Wei murmured, and a faint smile suddenly appeared on her smooth and jade-like cheeks. In an instant, her charm made the Xianbing cave seem even brighter, and the ice lotus in the nearby ice lake looked pale at this moment. It's extremely beautiful. Yi Xian looked a bit dazed. Once upon a time, there was also a woman who combined beauty and talent, who made Yi Xian give her heart, but in exchange for betrayal. That person, named Changxi, is known as Changxi Empress and that white-eyed wolf Mu Yun. These two traitors. As soon as he thought about it, a killing intent surged in Yi Xian's heart. Sir, look at what I said before. Wu Jingshan rubbed his hands and said with a hint of unease. Yi Xian regained his senses, lifted his eyelids, glanced at Wu Jingshan, and said in a slow voice, I'll tell you for your good intentions in saving my wife. You have problems with the five major acupoints of Tianmen, Shinkei, Jugu, Bai Hui, and Kunlun on your body. You can find the Shuyuan website www.jiaoshuyuan.com. As for where the problem lies, I don't need to say much. I believe you have a better understanding of it yourself. 
The method is also very simple. You only need to take the corresponding pill, Tianling, Shenjing, and Qinghun. These three pills are taken together and can be eliminated in just seven days. Also, remember to sunbathe more and don't keep locked up in the house, Yi Xian lazily reminded. These words left Jiang Jing and Zhou Yu Wei somewhat stunned. Tianling, Shenshen, and Qinghun are all spiritual pills at the level of spiritual pills. Ordinary cultivators don't even know their names. When did Yi Xian know about these? Wu Jingshan was extremely excited and respectfully said, Thank you, sir, for giving me the Dharma. Thank you, I'll skip it. Just give me some condensing qi pill, Yi Xian waved his hand and said. Checking the body is the right thing, and he didn't forget that. Eh. Condensing qi pill. This surprised Jiang Jing, Wu Jingshan, and Zhou Yuwei. Some, some, sir, as much as you want. Wu Jingshan quickly took out a pile of jade bottles. One bottle is enough. Yi Xian only took a jade bottle and quickly waved his hand, saying, All right, you all go out. I have something to say to Yu Wei. Okay, sir. Wu Jingshan showed extreme respect to Yi Xian and retreated directly. Jiang Jing greeted Zhou Yu Wei and also left the cave. This made Zhou Yu Wei even more incredulous. Master Wu, let's just forget about it. Why has even his mother's attitude towards Yi Xian become so kind? Previously, when my mother saw Yi Xian, she couldn't help but curse, but tonight when Xian spoke up to drive her away, my mother actually left according to her words. Strange and eccentric Zhou Yue looked at Yi Xian with a strange expression on her face. Chapter 6 Physical Fitness Testing, Abyssal Phenomenon Shocking the Sky you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Huangji Immortal Sect. Tianyun Hall. Zhao Yulong's face was gloomy as he slapped the seat under him and said in a deep voice, Damn it, Yi Xian, you're trying to sabotage my plan. The most infuriating thing is that he still can't get rid of this knight Xian, after all, he is currently in this emperor extreme immortal sect and cannot make any small moves. Zhao Yulong snorted coldly and thought to himself, let him jump around for two days first. Before long, the immortal cloud mine of the Huangji immortal sect will be taken away by the Xintian ancient gate. At that time, I won't believe that the Huangji immortal sect won't panic. At that time, they will naturally come to beg for my son. With this in mind, Zhao Yulong's mood was much happier. Young master, someone wants to see you. But at this moment, a middle-aged man walked over and bowed. Who is that? Zhao Yulong raised his eyebrows slightly. Cold and elegant, said the middle-aged man. Zhao Yulong's eyes showed a hint of surprise as he said, Isn't this guy the eldest disciple of the Huangji immortal sect? He actually came to visit me. Go, let him enter the hall for a moment. Yes, the middle-aged man stepped down. Zhao Yulong's eyes closed slightly, silently pondering. Leng Yifun, the eldest disciple of the Huangji Immortal Sect, is rumored to have a good chance of becoming the holy son of the Huangji Immortal Sect. It is said that his realm has surpassed that of a prince, and he is undoubtedly the most dazzling heavenly pride in the Liyang Shangwa. Rumors have it that Leng Yifun also has a good impression of Yue. He didn't have much dealings with me before. Why did he come to visit me this time? Zhao Gongzi came to our Huangji immortal sect without saying hello in advance. I will go and greet him before the next meeting. As Zhao Yulong pondered, a cheerful voice rang out. Immediately after, a fresh breeze blew and a young man appeared in the hall. The young man, dressed in cloud-patterned white clothes, emerged from the dust to the extreme, like a banished immortal. He was smiling at Zhao Yulong and slightly arched his hand. This person is exactly the eldest disciple of the Huangji immortal sect, Leng Yifun. Zhao Yulong opened his eyes and stood up, slightly clasping his fists, saying, Brother Leng is a very busy person. I just came here to see Yue, so I dare not bother you too much. 
Leng Yifun smiled slightly and said, Zhao Gongzi wants to see his junior sister, so I shouldn't have informed you in advance. I can also arrange for Zhao Gongzi in advance. Zhao Yulong narrowed his eyes slightly and said in a plain tone, Don't talk too much. Why did Brother Leng come here? Cold Yifun sat down on his own and casually placed a restriction, saying in a slow voice, Zhao Gongzi wants to marry my junior sister. Zhao Yulong raised his eyebrows slightly and his tone turned cold. Yu Wei has already married, Brother Leng, don't talk nonsense. Cold Yifun disapproved and said, What kind of person is Yu Wei's husband? Do you need to say more? To be honest, seeing my beloved junior sister marry such a coward, as a senior brother, I don't feel the same way. It's someone like Zhao Gongzi who is my junior sister's ideal husband. Cold Yifun said slowly. With these words, Zhao Yulong's eyes narrowed into a slit. He looked at Leng Yifun and said calmly, let's get to the point. Leng Yifun restrained his smile and his eyes were sharp, like two divine swords. He paused word by word and said, I'll help you solve that loser. You marry Yu Wei. The air seems to solidify at this moment. Zhao Yulong's eyes shot two fine rays, but he immediately laughed and said, Brother Leng, what you said is a great sin. Yi Xian is the uncle of your emperor extreme immortal sect. Leng Yifun said coldly, if young master Zhao wants to marry Yu Wei, it's best not to say such nonsense. My patience is limited. Zhao Yulong didn't rush to speak, but looked at the eldest disciple of the Huangji immortal sect. After some calculation in his heart, he nodded and said, Sure. Leng Yifun suddenly smiled and said, Zhao Gongzi will rest for a few days at the Tianyun Palace and wait for good news. After speaking, Cold Yifun's figure disappeared out of thin air. When Leng Yifun left, Zhao Yulong narrowed his eyes again and showed a hint of mockery. What a Leng Yifun, is he trying to depose Yi Xian, and then let my young master marry Yu Wei and take the throne of the Holy Son himself? Will he inherit the throne of the Emperor's ultimate immortal sect in the future? He is a brave person who can even give up on his beloved woman, Zhao Yulong sneered. However, for him, the benefits outweigh the drawbacks, so why not do it? Zhao Yulong went back and murmured, it's best to kill Yi Xian before the arrival of the Jintian Ancient Gate, so as not to affect my young Wei's mood at that time. The meeting between Zhao Yulong and Leng Yifun was naturally unknown to Yi Xian. He was currently in the Xianbing Cave, spending time with his wife Zhou Yuwei. When did you regain your sanity? Zhou Yuwei sat up from the bed, her beautiful eyes carrying a hint of curiosity. Yi Xian said, Today. Just regaining my sanity, you can cure my illness and still make Master Wu so respectful. Zhou Yuwei looked skeptical. I don't even see who your man is, Yi Xian said slowly. Dot. Zhou Yuwei suddenly drew a black line. After a moment of silence, Zhou Yuwei looked at Yi Xian strangely and said, You're very different from before. Yi Xian rolled his eyes and said, Aren't you talking nonsense? I've been unconscious since I was eleven years old, and now that I've regained my senses, it's definitely different. Zhou Yuwei was lost in thought, feeling that Yi Xian's words seemed to make some sense. But for some reason, Zhou Yuwei always felt that Yi Xian had become very different. Is it just because my mind has recovered? Seeing Zhou Yuwei staring at him all the time, Yi Xian couldn't help but smile slightly and said seriously, you just need to remember one thing. You, Zhou Yuwei, are my Yi Xian's wife. Understood. Zhou Yuwei raised her eyebrows slightly and did not refute. She married Yi Xian for a year, and in name, she is Yi Xian's wife. What are you doing? As Yi Xian took off his clothes, he said, We've both been married for a year, so naturally we're going into the bridal chamber. You go down. Zhou Yuwei instinctively hugged her chest with both hands and kicked Yi Xian. As he spoke, Yi Xian tilted his head and swallowed all ten condensing qi pills. If anyone sees this scene, they will definitely be shocked. Although the condensing qi pill is not a high dot level elixir, 
there are ten of them, swallowed by an ordinary person without any cultivation, and there is only a dead end. Roaming and rumbling, however, after swallowing the ten condensing chi pills, Yi Xian not only did not feel any discomfort, but also triggered a terrifying effect, emitting a roaring river like roar in his body, and his whole body's breath surged. Under Zhou Yue's shocked gaze, Yi Xian's muscles were bulging all over her body, and her breath surged wildly. Refining one weight. Refining the body twice. Triple body refining. Refining seven levels of body. Refining eight levels of body. Refining nine levels of body. This is not over yet, accompanied by a muffled sound, as if creating a new world, Yi Xian's entire breath was sublimated. Breaking through the nine layers of refining body in one breath, directly opening up the elixir field, penetrating the entire body's meridians, and reaching the realm of enlightenment. Buzzing, on the body of Yi Xian, intricate and mysterious patterns floated up. At the same time, a terrifying vision appeared above the sky of Emperor Jixian sect. The purple aura stretches for 90,000 miles. The vision is shocking. At this moment, the reclusive old immortal of Huangji immortal sect opened their eyes one after another, full of shock. Is it possible that the Holy Communion was born? Chapter 7 Shaking the Southern Domain, One Chi Tongxian You are listening at NovelFull.audio Huangji Immortal Sect Is it the Grand Princess Zhou Yuwei? The entire southern region of the eastern wilderness realm, each powerful entity, opened their eyes at this moment and looked towards the direction of the Emperor Extreme Immortal Sect, with a look of surprise. At that moment, everyone felt a terrifying aura, shattering the clouds for millions of miles in the sky, with a terrifying aura of rushing into the divine universe. That momentum was as if an invincible existence had descended upon us. But that aura only appeared for a moment and then disappeared, as if suppressed by some great power. Only the most powerful group of beings captured the terrifying aura of that moment. Send someone to Litian Kingdom immediately, make sure to investigate thoroughly. An ancient sect has issued a secret order. At this moment, the entire southern region of the eastern wilderness was filled with wind and clouds, and many powerful beings were leaning towards the Emperor Extreme Immortal Sect. At this time, Huangji Immortal Sect. Everyone looked up at the sky, amazed and amazed. My mother, the sky has completely turned purple. What is this situation? Is there a great ability to cast spells, or is there a powerful person passing by? Everyone is guessing. The ancestors of Huangji Immortal Sect looked at the slowly dissipating purple aura in the sky with a serious expression, although it has sealed off the aura, the ancient forces in the southern region are probably aware of it. Let's prepare for it. Others may not know, but they are well aware that such a vision is definitely a sight inspired by the Holy Communion. What is the direction to activate the purple chi? Lock it in as soon as possible. At the same time, the eight elders of the Huangji Immortal Sect also took action. What's going on? Zhao Yulong also walked out of the Heavenly Cloud Hall, looking at the vision on the sky with a serious expression. Vaguely, he felt like something big was about to happen. Cold Yifun, who had just left the Tianyun Hall, had already seen a vision above the sky, his eyes flickering, and his face looked a bit ugly. This kind of anomaly, no matter what, means something. Huangji Immortal Sect, there are divine beings about to rise up. This is definitely not good news for him. At this moment, in the Xianbing Cave, the culprit Yi Xian seemed unaware and still sat cross-legged by the bed, crazily absorbing the condensing qi pill. Tong Xian Triple Finally, the realm of Yi Xian stopped at the level of Tong Xian Triple. The cultivation realm is divided from low to high into Refining the body, understanding the mysteries, divine gates, Taoist platforms, inscriptions, and above that are the princes. And each realm is divided into nine levels. The realm of refining the body emphasizes refining the physical body, allowing oneself to break through the limits of mortals. Only in this way can one step into the mystical realm and become a true cultivator. 
After entering the mystical realm, one can master various divine powers and techniques, known as a cultivator. Yi Xian swallowed ten condensing qi pills and stepped directly from a mortal to the third level of Tong Xian, becoming a true cultivator. This is simply a miracle. After stepping into the third level of Tong Xian, Yi Xian slowly opened his eyes, with an excited expression in his eyes. Indeed, indeed. At this moment, Yi Xian only wanted to laugh wildly from the sky. His physique is indeed a Tao body that exists in mythology. What is Daodi? Coming out of one body, all the heavens and ten thousand paths bow down, this is the Tao body. Yi Xian was originally just the young master of the Yi family in Wanan City, Yungua in the southern region. However, at the age of eleven, disaster struck him, and his soul was taken away by the Lord of Burial Emperors from ancient times. He went to the mythological era before ancient times and was refined into an immortal monster's body. From then on, he was manipulated by the Lord of Burial Emperors to travel across the heavens and worlds, and to explore forbidden areas throughout history, in order to find the Tao. On the way to finding the Tao body, he was suppressed for millions of years and imprisoned in purgatory, never seeing the sun. After going through countless hardships, he was unable to find the Tao body. Instead, through numerous tribulations, he developed an invincible Tao heart and, with his own layout, broke free from the Lord of Burial of the Emperor. The Lord of the Burial Emperor, you never expected that the original physical body of our Emperor would be the eternal Tao body. Yi Xian murmured in his heart. Yi Xian clenched his fist tightly, feeling an inexhaustible force, and raised his hand to launch a punch. Banka, in an instant, the wall of the Xianbing cave ahead was blasted out into a pit about a hundred zhang long. Such destructive power has far surpassed that of an ordinary cultivator who can understand the mysteries three times. Yi Xian grinned and said, My physical body is still the most comfortable. Zhou Youwei's beautiful eyes widened beside her, witnessing the scene just now with her own eyes. Her heart trembled, and it took her a long time to utter two words. Monster. Breaking through from an ordinary person with no cultivation in one breath to the triple power of Tongxian, the power of a casual punch is comparable to the ninth power of Tongxian. What is this not a monster? Wife, try swallowing the ice and fire Xian Dan, Yi Xian put down his fist and looked at Zhou Yu Wei, smiling. Ice and fire Xian Dan. Zhou Yu Wei was a bit stunned. How did you know I had this kind of pill? Yi Xian rolled his eyes and said, Don't forget who cured your one body and two souls. Zhou Yu Wei hesitated for a moment, then took out the ice and fire Xian Dan according to her words and poured out one. Ten pills. Yi Xian reached out and poured out all the pills in the bottle, saying, You only exposed the body of Xian Bing before, so you only need one. Now that the body of Xian Bing and the body of Lai Yang are both exposed, one pill has little effect. When your two bodies are stimulated together, your one body and two souls will be completely formed and enter the divine body stage. Divine Body Zhou Yu Wei stared blankly at Yi Xian. Of course, you are my daughter. In law, and your divine body is at the very least, Yi Xian said seriously. Zhou Yu Wei suddenly rolled her eyes with a unique charm and said, You really can boast. However, Zhou Yu Wei still swallowed the ten ice and fire Xian Dan with suspicion, and her intuition told her that Yi Xian was not lying. Mmm. Zhou Yu Wei's delicate body trembled, and then a terrifying aura burst out, soaring into the sky. Bang! Immediately after, a vast and scorching sun rose from the left rear of Zhou Yu Wei releasing a scorching divine sun. At the same time, a cold and bright moon appeared in the right rear of Zhou Yu Wei, frozen for thousands of miles, with a chill killing people. The interweaving of fire and ice is like yin and yang, not interfering with each other but filling each other's gaps. Upon seeing this scene, Yi Xian squinted slightly, took the initiative to put on his clothes, and left the Xianbing cave. I believe it won't be long before many people appear here. Before these people appeared, he still slipped away first. 
just triggered the Tao body, it must have triggered a celestial anomaly. He needs his wife Zhou Yue to cover it up to avoid being noticed. Soul pierces through eternity and returns, Yi Xian knows the danger of human heart better than anyone else. Huanji Immortal Sect, if I remember correctly, this sect was founded by that little guy Li Tian. Since we are all here now, if we don't go see him, it's my masters. After pondering for a while, Yi Xian decided to visit the ancestral temple of Huangji Immortal Sect. Not long after Yi Xian left, terrifying auras descended upon the Xianbing cave. As they approached, they were all careful and restrained their own breath. Nevertheless, the majestic blood still resembled a majestic sea, rolling with an astonishing aura. These beings are terrifying cultivators who far surpass princes and are definitely at the level of elders of the emperor's ultimate immortal sect. Did the vision just now really be caused by the princess? exclaimed the elder. Jiang Jing also appeared in front of Xianbing Cave at this moment, with a hint of excitement in her expression. It must have been Yu Wei who broke through to the realm of Wang Ho and stimulated the power of Xuanbing's body. Although the Holy Maiden is a body of mysterious ice, theoretically speaking, it is only an imperial body and cannot trigger such an illusion. The elder gently stroked her long beard, frowned slightly, and a certain radiance flickered in her eyes. Miss Jiang, is there anyone else in the cave? Upon hearing this, Jiang Jing instinctively thought of Yi Xian, but Xian even shook her head and said, My son dot in dot law is also inside, but it can never be him. Is that fool named Yi Xian? The other elders also looked indifferent and didn't care. After all, no one would think that a fool could trigger such a vision. They naturally didn't know that Yi Xian had already regained his soul. Among everyone's speculations, only the words of Yi Xian and Zhou Yu Wei were included, so this anomaly must have been undoubtedly caused by Zhou Yu Wei. However, just the imperial body, how can it trigger a terrifying vision of purple energy stretching for 90,000 miles? Even a few ancestors were alarmed. At this moment, Jiang Jing suddenly thought of something and quickly said, By the way, just that night. Senior brother Wu Jingshan detected that Yu Wei was possessed by a demon and unexpectedly discovered that Yu Wei had one body and two souls. It means that Yu Wei has more than one kind of physique. As soon as these words were spoken, everyone present felt puzzled. One body, two souls. Can one person still have two different physiques? Jiang Jing nodded and said, Indeed. If that's the case, then the anomaly is likely caused by Yu Wei, said the others. Chapter 8 Fist Power, Potential Crisis You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Within the Xianbing Cave, Zhou Yu Wei used the ice and fire Xian Dan to completely transform her dual souls into a divine body, interweaving the Xianbing and Liyang bodies. The physique of a cultivator is generally divided into mortal body, dominant body, imperial body, divine body, and sacred body. Zhou Yu Wei's mysterious ice body actually belonged to the imperial body. Only in this way, Zhou Yu Wei has become one of the top heavenly pride in the kingdom of Lai Tian and now it stimulates the body of Lai Yang, making both bodies enter the divine body stage. From now on, Zhou Yu Wei will become even stronger. And all of this is attributed to Yi Xian's intervention. At this moment, Zhou Yu Wei has broken through the bottleneck and stepped into the realm of kings and marquises. You should know that Zhou Yu Wei has just turned 18 and has become a prince at this age. She is definitely the most talented disciple of the Huangji Immortal Sect in nearly 10,000 years. Boom 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 with Zhou Yue's breakthrough a scorching sun and a bright moon suddenly rose, occupying the entire sky. And directly dividing it into two. This kind of illusion will directly dispel the previously overflowing purple chi in the sky. 
this immediately made everyone in the Huangji Immortal Sect boil. Is there another vision? Damn it! I heard that the vision was caused by a saint. She truly deserves to be a saint, with extraordinary talent, and even the most beautiful woman in my kingdom of Litian. She is simply the goddess in my heart. Unfortunately, the saint married a fool, Sai. Damn it, why are you talking about that fool at this time? Isn't this a scene of desperation? Dot. Yi Xian, who had already rushed to the ancestral temple of Emperor Ji Xian, naturally saw a vision in the sky. Everything was within his expectations. As for the satire of the other disciples, he didn't take it to heart, but rather pondered it on his own. Although I have awakened to the Tao, it is ultimately just a suspended building, and the foundation has not been cast yet. It still needs to be slowly polished. I need a means of self-protection before being detected by certain entities. He returned to his original form, which was a Taoist form, but ultimately had no cultivation. Due to his 90,000-year slumber, his soul power was extremely weak. Previously, he gave Xiao Yulong a warning and later controlled Lu Chunga, consuming some soul power that cannot be used at will. So, he needs to master some external forces to support himself. Fortunately, this place is the Huangji Immortal Sect, which is very familiar to Yi Xian. This familiarity is not because he is the son. In law of the Huangji Immortal Sect, but because the founder of the Huangji Immortal Sect, Lai Tian Emperor, was personally taught by Yi Xian Lai Tian Ancestral Temple is located on the back mountain of Huangji Peak, and there are no taboos here. Every disciple is allowed to come and worship the ancestors of Huangji Immortal Sect. There are dedicated disciples responsible for cleaning this place to prevent the ancestral spirit cards from getting stained with dust. When Yi Xian arrived at the ancestral temple, several disciples responsible for cleaning were all looking up at the sky, staring at the vision of the scorching sun and bright moon, whispering and whispering, seemingly not noticing Yi Xian's arrival. Seeing this, Yi Xian was also enjoying his leisure and walked into the ancestral temple on his own. Stop. Finally, someone caught a glimpse of Yi Xian and let out a deep drink. The disciple looked fierce with a fierce aura. When he saw Yi Xian, he was stunned for a moment, and then showed a sneer on his face. He said, Who am I? It turns out to be the famous Yi Xian uncle. I don't know why he came to the ancestral temple. Do you want to eat the ashes of the ancestral temple? The other disciples who were responsible for cleaning turned around and their eyes fell on Yi Xian, mocking him incessantly. This fool has come to the ancestral temple again, isn't it possible that he has come to show off his marriage to the saint again? This fool doesn't know where he came from. He was favored by a saint. The saint is so powerful, causing a strange phenomenon in heaven and earth, but he married such a coward. What a fool! As the saying goes, stupid people have stupid blessings, that's probably what it means. A few people mocked repeatedly, but anyone could see the jealousy in their eyes. Saint Zhou Yue, that is the goddess in the hearts of many people. A flower is inserted into the cow dung of Yi Xian. How can this not make people angry? Yi Xian kept walking, glanced at these disciples, and said calmly, my wife's interest in me shows that she has great vision. What do you ordinary people know? Ha! Huh. The crowd immediately widened their eyes and looked at Yi Xian incredulously, sleeping trough, how could this guy speak so completely? The disciple with a fierce gaze also glanced at Yi Xian in surprise. Yi Xian ignored these few people and walked towards the Lai Tian ancestral temple. Who let you go? These disciples, however, found it interesting. Seeing that Yi Xian was about to leave, they immediately dodged and stopped him. Yi Xian put his hands in his pockets and paused to look at the few people. With a calm expression, he said, Is there anything else? For a few clowns who jump off the beam, Yi Xian doesn't care, but if he wants to die, he doesn't mind killing them casually. You want to enter the ancestral temple, right? But isn't it something that outsiders like you can enter, unless you kneel down to learn how to bark? 
several disciples all stopped Yi Xian and showed a malicious smile. This fool has finally regained his senses. If he doesn't discipline this guy, they always feel uncomfortable in their hearts. Yi Xian squinted his eyes slightly, his expression indifferent, and said calmly, what if I don't? No. Everyone was stunned for a moment, obviously not expecting Yi Xian to be so tough. But soon, the fierce-looking disciple among them gave a fierce smile and said, Then die for me. As he spoke, this person suddenly attacked Yi Xian at a lightning-fast speed. He opened his five claws and descended the mountain like a fierce tiger. The fierce tiger probed its claws. The other disciples were slightly surprised when they saw this and quickly reminded, Qin Li, don't give up on him. He has no cultivation. Qin Li, who spoke harshly, immediately withdrew his strength upon hearing the words, but did not stop. He continued to charge towards Yi Xian and said harshly, I'll teach you a lesson. Boom! But the next moment Qin Li flew backwards, with a few broken teeth mixed with blood flying out. He smashed himself onto a nearby stone tablet, which was instantly shattered. You! Qin Li bulged his eyes and looked at Yi Xian incredulously. He only said one word, his head tilted, and he fainted directly. Yi Xian withdrew his fist and pursed his lips, saying, There's a lot of nonsense. Sleeping slot. The other disciples were dumbfounded on the spot. Yi Xian looked up at the few people with indifferent eyes. Dang 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 dang, several people suddenly turned pale and retreated together, their eyes filled with fear. Qin Li, have you never fought a fool named Yi Xian? What exactly is this situation? Kneel down and learn to bark like a dog, Yi Xian said indifferently. The faces of several disciples all changed for a moment, looking extremely ugly. Yi Xian, don't go too far. We are the first Tianlin senior brother on the list of foreign sects, one of them said with a gloomy expression. Boom! The words fell to the ground, and everyone felt a daze in front of them. Immediately after, the person who had just spoken flew backwards, and the outcome was the same as Qin Li's. You! The remaining two disciples immediately fell silent, looking for the Shuyuan website www.zhaozhuyuan.com, their eyes filled with fear. This guy, he's such a dark knight. I don't want to say anything extra, I don't want to say it again. Yi Xian's expression was indifferent, but a terrifying pressure was instantly released. Bang 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 at this moment, the two of them were completely scared and disregarded their face, constantly shouting. Wong Wong Wong. An extremely comical scene appeared. You're so good. Yi Xian showed a harmless smile and walked into the ancestral temple. Wong Wong Wong. It wasn't until Yi Xian left for a long time that the two dared to stop, their faces extremely pale. That person just now. Is really Yi Xian. Qin Li and Wang Biao are both beings of Tong Xian Wuchong, and they can't withstand a punch from him. Absolutely not, this person must be someone who faked it. But who would impersonate this fool if they had nothing to do? The two looked at each other and fell into silence for a moment. Let's report this matter to senior brother Zhang. In the end, the two of them made up their minds and took Qin Li and Wang Biao back to report to their support, senior brother Zhang. They are all ordinary disciples of the outer sect, but their backer, senior brother Zhang, is Zhang Tianlin, who ranks first on the top ten list of the outer sect and has access to the nine realms of Xian. Only one step away from the Divine Gate realm. Upon entering the realm of the Divine Gate, one can enter the inner sect. Inner sect disciples and outer sect disciples hold the power of life and death. This knight Xian is really too evil, 
they are no match at all. The thought of the shame they had just suffered ignited their anger. Never spare this guy lightly. Chapter 9 Blazing Heaven's Ancestral Temple, Emperor and Teacher's Appearance You are listening at NovelFull.audio And at this moment, within the Ancestral Temple. Yi Xian stood at the entrance of the ancient Ancestral Temple, staring at the statue in the upper hall of the temple that was hazy with incense, stunned and lost in thought. Although endless years have passed, there is still a vast divine power on that statue, which makes people feel a sense of worship. Below the statue of Emperor Litian, there is a shrine shrouded in smoke and mist. For some reason, the fireworks seem to be dissipating, but they could freeze together at any moment. Vaguely, it forms a character called Night with a certain divinity. How long do you plan to watch? Just as Yi Xian was lost in thought, an old voice sounded in the ancestral temple, seeming to carry a hint of dissatisfaction. Yi Xian regained his senses and looked at the old man with white hair and beard sitting in front of the statue. He couldn't help but smile slightly and said, Seeing the statue of Emperor Litian reminds me of many things. The old man with white hair and white beard snorted coldly upon hearing this, that's our grandfather. Why are young people not polite at all now? Yi Xian smiled for a moment, but didn't say anything. Seeing that Yi Xian remained motionless, Chiu Wenhan's face darkened slightly and his tone intensified, saying, When you come to the ancestral temple, you must pay homage to our ancestor and master. This is the rule of our Huangji immortal sect. You have been standing there for so long and have exceeded the rules. Why don't you come to pay homage? Is it for worship? Yi Xian's eyes wandered, falling on the word night in the shrine and sighing, it's better to say goodbye. I'm just here to take a look, and I'm leaving now. Upon hearing this, Chiu Wenhan's eyebrows slowly furrowed, his turbid eyes fixed on Yi Xian, and he said in a slow voice, I disrespected my ancestor, but it would be a great sin to expel the sect. Are you sure you won't worship me? Is that really necessary? Yi Xian said. Chiu Wenhan nodded and said, It must be so. This is the rule of our Emperor Jixian sect from ancient times to the present day. Yi Xian shrugged and said in a slow voice, If something happens later, can you bear it? This statement immediately made Chiu Wenhan laugh angrily. You're such an interesting young man. I've been guarding the ancestral temple for three thousand years, and this is the first time I've heard such words. Can you guarantee it? Yi Xian smiled rather than smiled. Xiu Wenhan waved his sleeve and said, You worship me, I'll be watching from the side. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility. Okay. Yi Xian saw that Xiu Wenhan didn't take it seriously and didn't want to say much. He walked up to the statue of Emperor Li Tian, glanced at it, and then slowly bowed, bang, at the moment when Xian bowed that night, the entire ancestral temple was filled with infinite divine radiance, almost breaking through the temple and leaving. Immediately after, a sudden surge of suction erupted from the statue of Emperor Li Tian, directly incorporating the majestic divine radiance into the statue. The entire statue appears extraordinary at this moment, with a hint of divinity seemingly disappearing. Sitting beside him, Chiu Wenhan stared blankly at the scene, his heart beating as if it had stopped. Looking at this young man in a black robe, he felt his scalp explode. He has been guarding the ancestral temple for three thousand years and has never seen such a scene before. At that moment, the divine energy on the statue of the grandfather exploded to its extreme, and then suddenly shrank and disappeared. All of this was keenly perceived by Chiu Wenhan. For a moment, Chiu Wenhan felt that his brain was not enough. Stop. Stop. Stop, stop. Xiu Wenhan saw that Yi Xian was still going to bow down, so he quickly stopped him and said nervously, Don't worship anymore. If you worship the statue of Grandmaster again, it will fall down. Xiu Wenhan did not notice that at the moment he stopped Yi Xian, the character, Knight, in the shrine rose to the sky, forming a blurry figure on top of the statue of Emperor Li Tian. That was just a silhouette, looking a bit thin, 
but with a strange and terrifying aura present. That figure, which only existed for a blink of an eye, disappeared and turned into the character, Knight, and returned to the shrine. If Emperor Lytian was still alive at this time, upon seeing that scene, he would surely bow respectfully. Because that figure represents the appearance of the Emperor and the teacher of the great Emperor Lytian. In this scene, Yi Xian saw it clearly in his eyes, with a hint of sadness in his eyes, but it was fleeting. He looked at Chiu Wen Han and asked in confusion, Don't worship anymore. No more bowing, no more bowing, Chiu Wen Han said repeatedly, his gaze completely changing as he looked at Yi Xian. He enthusiastically said, Little brother, what's your name? From which peak vein? My name is Yi Xian. Yi Xian sat calmly on the cattail and pondered for a moment before saying, Should it be from Huangji Peak? Huangji Immortal Sect, as the most powerful cultivation holy land in Lai Tian Kingdom, is divided into nine major peaks and veins, and Huangji Peak is one of the nine peaks. Yi Xian, Huangji Peak. Chiu Wenhan murmured, seeming somewhat unfamiliar, and said slowly, Huangji Peak belongs to the sect leader's lineage. I didn't expect you to be young and have already entered Huangji Peak. Yi Xian shook his head and said, Strictly speaking, I am not a disciple of the Huangji Immortal Sect. I am the uncle of the Huangji Immortal Sect. Uncle. Chiu Wenhan hesitated for a moment, then looked at Yi Xian with a bewildering gaze. Are you the fool who married Xiao Yu Wei? Chiu Wen Han was greatly shocked. Old man, you're a bit lacking in words, don't you know? Yi Xian glanced at Chiu Wen Han. If these words were heard by other members of the Huangji Immortal Sect, it would probably make them laugh. What kind of person is Chiu Wen Han? Guarding the ancestral temple for three thousand years, even if the leader of the Huangji Immortal Sect comes, he must respectfully shout Chiu Shi Shu. Yi Xian is so lucky that he said Chiu Wen Han owes him a beating. However, Chiu Wen Han said seriously, it's the old man Meng Lang. I hope you don't mind, little brother. What are you joking about? The guy who could cause such a miracle in the ancestral temple would be a rumored fool. Even if it is. That was just before. Not now or in the future. Yi Xian didn't really care, but instead asked, you have been guarding the ancestral temple for three thousand years, do you still understand the current situation of the Huangji immortal sect? After a moment of contemplation, Chiu Wenhan said in a slow voice, To be honest, the Emperor Extreme Immortal Sect has been in a worrying situation since the major event that shook the world ninety thousand years ago. Ninety thousand years ago. Yi Xian's heart stirred slightly, and he said calmly on the surface, What big deal? Chiu Wenhan was stunned for a moment and smiled, you should read more books when you have nothing to do. I don't even know about this. Let me tell you something. Ninety thousand years ago, Empress Changxi and Empress Mu both ascended to the throne, taking charge of the Mandate of Heaven, and the two emperors emerged together, which can be said to shake the world. Changxi Empress, Mu Emperor. Yi Xian's eyes narrowed slightly. Are they two traitors, Changxi and Mu Yun? The two ascended to the throne, and Yi Xian had long known about it. He only initiated the plan after the two ascended to the throne. However, after he sealed the physical body, Changxi and Mu Yun betrayed him and wanted to kill him. Zhao Zhuyuan.com Chiu Wenhan let out a long sigh and said, After the emergence of the two emperors, the world did not usher in a prosperous era. On the contrary, the spiritual energy of heaven and earth rapidly declined and entered a difficult era of the end of the Dharma. Not to mention other places, when it comes to the southern region of our eastern wilderness, there are very few great cultivators who have yet entered the world. Yi Xian suddenly thought of something, his eyes narrowed, and a cold light flashed through him. Are these two traitors trying to manipulate his monster body? Chiu Wen Han didn't know what Yi Xian was thinking and said to himself, our Emperor Extreme Immortal Sect was originally a holy land for cultivation in the vast eastern wilderness, but it was suddenly attacked by the Xintian Ancient Gate. You probably didn't know that both emperors walked out of the Xintian Ancient Gate, 
and the strong ones were like clouds, far stronger than our emperor extreme immortal sect. In that battle, our sect suffered a disastrous defeat and was eventually pushed back to our ancestral land. Since then, our sect has been in a state of decline. Moreover, every three years, we have to pay a massive amount of cultivation resources to the Xintian ancient gate. Anyway, our Emperor Extreme Immortal Sect can at least take control of one side of Shanghua, and we will definitely be able to regain our former glory in the future. Xiu Wenhan regained his composure and sneered at himself, as we get older, we'll talk more. Don't worry too much, little brother. But to be honest, little brother, I really value you. During his speech, Chiu Wenhan looked at Yi Xian with a burning gaze. The miracle in the ancestral temple just now made him think a lot. Perhaps it was the ancestor who saw some kind of future, and that future may be on the young man in front of him. Jintian Ancient Gate Yi Xian muttered once, but his heart was filled with various doubts. When did the twin emperors walk out of the Jintian Ancient Gate, as he personally taught them? Why would Jintian Ancient Gate attack Huangji Immortal Sect? What exactly did these two traitors do? Chapter 10 Fist Town Ranking First, Cold Yi Fun Appears You are listening at NovelFull.audio Just when Yi Xian was in the Ancestral Temple, Zhang Tianlin, the leader of the Outer Sect, is meeting with the chief disciple of the entire Huangji Immortal Sect. Leng Yi Fun Leng Yifun, the chief disciple of the Huangji Immortal Sect, is also the leader of the younger generation. Some people say that Huangji Immortal Sect has unparalleled double pride. One is Zhou Yiwei, the holy maiden of Emperor Jixian Sect. The second is the chief disciple, Leng Yifun. Among the younger generation of Huangji Immortal Sect, the one who truly matches Zhou Yiwei the best is actually the chief disciple Leng Yifun, rather than the holy son Zhao Yulong from Luo Tian Holy Land. In fact, the eldest disciple of the Huangji Immortal Sect also seems to have an interest in the Holy Maiden. Although it has never been revealed, it is not a secret in the entire Huangji Immortal Sect. At this moment, Cold Yifun appears in the Outer Sect, which is indeed somewhat eerie. Zhang Tianlin also felt the same way. He stood below, feeling a bit uneasy. He is pondering the thoughts of this senior brother. Cold Yifun was dressed in cloud-patterned white clothes, with both hands behind him, carrying a ethereal aura. His face was shrouded in clear air, unable to see clearly, as if he were a banished immortal facing the dust. He looked down at Zhang Tianlin below and calmly said, Kill Yi Xian, I will protect you on a smooth path. What? Zhang Tianlin was dumbfounded upon hearing this, and quickly said, Senior brother, don't do it at all. That night, Xian was the uncle of the Huangji immortal sect. He was originally pondering what this senior brother had to do with this little person, but he didn't expect it to be like this when he spoke up. That night Xian is a well-known fool, but at the same time, he is also the uncle of the Huangji immortal sect. Bullying Yi Xian on a regular basis may not be a big deal, but if you kill him, I'm afraid Zhang Tianlin's forehead was covered in cold sweat. Cold Yi Fun said with an indifferent expression, this matter was ordered by the wife of the sect leader. Grandmother. Zhang Tianlin was even more stunned. Isn't the wife of the sect leader the mother dot in dot law of Yi Xian? Will she speak up and kill Yi Xian? After the task is completed, Come to Xianqing Peak and find me. I will personally help you open the divine door and communicate with the spirits of the virtual divine realm above level 5. Without saying much, Leng Yifun left with just one sentence. Open the divine gate, the spirit of the fifth level virtual divine realm. Zhang Tianlin squinted slightly and pondered to himself, but killing Yi Xian was really arranged by the sect leader's wife. Master Brother is a member of the Xianqing Peak lineage, and Xianqing Peak and Huangji Peak have never dealt with each other. Everyone knows about this matter. Although Senior Brother said it was ordered by the sect leader's wife, it may not be possible. Zhang Tianlin is not a fool, he is weighing the pros and cons. 
As long as he completes the task, Len Yifan will personally help him open the Divine Gate and communicate with the spirits of the virtual Divine Realm above the fifth level. After breaking through the mystical realm and reaching the Divine Gate Realm, cultivators can open the Divine Gate and communicate with the spirits of the virtual Divine Realm. The spirits of the Void God Realm are generally divided into ten levels, with the first level being the weakest and the tenth level being the strongest. But communicating with the spirits of the Void God Realm all depends on fate, and it is unknown which level of Void God Realm spirits can be communicated with. However, the higher the level of communication with the spirits of the Void God Realm, the greater the potential of the cultivator, and naturally the higher the level of attention they receive. Zhang Tianlin, as the top ten disciples of an external sect, has already entered the pinnacle of mystical communication. He can now open the Divine Gate, but he vaguely realizes that he can only communicate with the spirits of the third level virtual Divine Realm at most. Therefore, he has not yet entered the Divine Gate Realm. This time, Senior Brother Lin Yifun promised to help him communicate with the spirits of the Void God Realm above level 5, which really touched him. The meaning of Lin Yifun is very obvious. After killing Yi Xian and joining the inner sect, he can join Xianqing Peak and receive the protection of his senior brother. But after doing this, I'm afraid I'll offend the side of Emperor Jifeng however, after considering the constraints of various factions within the Huangji Immortal Sect, Zhang Tianlin gritted his teeth and decided to engage in a major battle. Entering the inner sect, if there is a senior brother as a support, his path in the future will be absolutely open. However, we need to find a decent reason to kill Yi Xian, senior brother Zhang, something happened. That night Xian is not foolish. At this moment, a sound came from outside. Upon hearing these words, Zhang Tianlin was momentarily taken aback and then said strangely, saying that the night is mysterious. Quickly, the two people who had just been scolded by Yi Xian in front of the Litian ancestral temple came in with Qin Li and Wang Biao, their faces very ugly. What's up? Zhang Tianlin said calmly. Senior brother Zhang, you have to make the decision for us. The two disciples looked mournful and quickly recounted what had just happened at the Litian ancestral temple, adding fuel to the vinegar, saying how Yi Xian looked down on Zhang Tianlin. After listening, Zhang Tianlin was surprised in his heart, but at the same time, he felt that God was helping me. Yi Xian, Yi Xian, no wonder I'm Zhang Tianlin. He is worried and doesn't know why to find trouble for Yi Xian. Zhang Tianlin grinned and waved his hand, saying, Lead the way, I want to see. After a fool returns to normal, how could he be so arrogant? Yes, senior brother Zhang. Both of them were pleasantly surprised. Soon, Zhang Tianlin and his disciples arrived at the ancestral temple. Coincidentally, Yi Xian was walking out of the ancestral temple. Senior brother Zhang, it's Yi Xian. Seeing Yi Xian come out, the disciple leading the way immediately turned pale and instinctively retreated to the side. Zhang Tianlin frowned slightly, somewhat dissatisfied with the disciple's reaction. He stared at Yi Xian intently and did not immediately take action. This night, Xian was able to punch Qin Li, who was able to penetrate the five layers of Xian, to the point of fainting. It should not be underestimated. Of course, that's all. Did you find a support? Yi Xian naturally saw Zhang Tianlin and his companions, and he smiled calmly. The leading disciple was somewhat afraid of Yi Xian, but as soon as he thought of senior brother Zhang by his side, he straightened his waist and pointed at Yi Xian, saying, Yi Xian, you just injured Qin Li and Wang Biao with your hand. This matter can't just be settled like this. Oh. Yi Xian said slowly, What should I do? If you make a mistake, of course you have to admit it. Without waiting for the disciple to speak, Zhang Tianlin was already speaking. His eyes were like flames and his voice was like thunder. Although you are the uncle of the emperor's extreme immortal sect, you are arbitrarily beating people to serious injuries, which is challenging the sect's regulations. As the first disciple of the outer sect, I, Zhang Tianlin, should uphold the dignity of the sect. 
After shaking and drinking, if it were an ordinary person, they might have been scared to the point of splitting their liver and gallbladder. However, at this moment, Yi Xian stood there with a calm face and looked at Zhang Tianlin calmly, saying, Are you saying you want to hold me accountable? How many years have passed, yet someone is going to hold the immortal Knight Emperor accountable? Interesting, yes, Zhang Tianlin said lightly, but it was like thunder falling from the sky, shaking people's hearts and souls. Yi Xian exclaimed, Then you can ask. This statement immediately suffocated Zhang Tianlin and he thought to himself, Why isn't this guy angry? Immediately, Zhang Tianlin said coldly again, Let's go ahead and practice the Dharma. His legs curled slightly, and then he suddenly bounced out, like a bolt from a barrel, as fast as thunder. As he rushed out, Zhang Tianlin opened his big hand, his five fingers hooked like hooks, and leaned towards Yi Xian's throat. His eyes were as cold as a knife. A chilling killing intent escaped from Zhang Tianlin. So fast. The disciple leading the way exclaimed in surprise when he saw Zhang Tianlin take action. Undoubtedly, he is the leader of the top ten foreign sects, with such strength far surpassing Qin Li, who is proficient in the five levels of mysticism. With that claw down, the force is fierce and unparalleled, even gold and stones may be shattered. Bang! At the critical moment, Yi Xian raised his hand and firmly grasped Zhang Tianlin's hand, his eyes icy cold, and said, Do you want to kill me? At that moment, Yi Xian felt the deep killing intent on Zhang Tianlin. Although he injured Qin Li, it was also because Qin Li came to cause trouble, and Zhang Tianlin wouldn't have killed him. I'm afraid there's something wrong with this Tianlin, you are really extraordinary. Zhang Tianlin was suddenly surprised and went to the Shuyuan website www.jiaoshuyuan.com, but then he grinned and said, but today, you must die here. Just as Yi Xian was about to say something, he suddenly noticed someone approaching quickly in the dark and let out a cold snort, his strength increasing. Kaka Kaka, in an instant, Zhang Tianlin's wrist was marked with five fingerprints. How could it be? Zhang Tianlin was immediately shocked. The power of this knight Xian is so great. He is the pinnacle of the existence of Tong Xian, with extraordinary power that can easily break mountains and seas. However, Yi Xian seems to have infinite power, and with a pinch, he is about to crush his wrist. Zhang Tianlin felt a great deal of pain and let out a low growl, his technique working. Boom! Release Chu Qi. A sword burst out from Zhang Tianlin's hand, almost instantly piercing through Yi Xian's throat in such close proximity. At a critical moment, Yi Xian remained calm and composed, with a gentle twist of his body that allowed him to dodge the blade of the sword. He immediately punched Zhang Tianlin's face with a backhand punch. Boom! Zhang Tianlin only felt a darkness in front of him, and his whole body flew backwards, losing consciousness. Senior Brother Zhang Before the leading disciple could react, he saw Zhang Tianlin flying backwards and falling to the ground ten meters away without any movement. He suddenly fell and sat on the ground, his face full of fear. Dead, dead. I saw Zhang Tianlin lying motionless on the ground. One punch, kill senior brother Zhang Tianlin. This. Bang, but at this moment, terrifying auras suddenly descended one after another. Led by Leng Yifun, a group of disciples of the Huangji immortal sect, dressed in white robes and wielding magic swords, flew from a distance and landed on the ground. 